flash. It's very easy for the Rengar. Oh, the dive was coming top because there was a big minion wave. Oh, oh Klein out. Malithic Vision, Sebex there, and that's the kill. First blood, Tabasco. Good collapse from Delore, but here comes the TP. I don't yeah. think he's getting yeah, out of this. Delore's dead, Lord. Has no flash, no escape, and amazing. Helps Kikis sink the anchor in. So. Again, Death Charge comes out, he will land the arrow onto Amazing, but Warlight's so low, the Jin doesn't get a kill as Kikis takes him out. Now Tabasco underneath the turret, just nowhere for him to go. Kikis tanking it up for days, and of course, no TP. Boy, Ice Beaster. Kikis once again, pretending like towers don't exist. Sebex back, Amazing goes in, there's the Shockwave, Deadly Flourish lands, and the curtain call comes down. Sebex tags up one, bashes the second, doesn't dodge the third, can he dodge the fourth? No, he can't. Four shots and another kill for Rales. Really good ultimate from Rales and great play overall. The Tom Kench is going to unload the Toad onto Kingwin here. Tabasco caught out, Deadly Flourish goes down. The depth, the uh, Menethic Visions isn't going to be enough. Nor's the Netherglass Lies Beast of TP'd in, but he's just caught out. By the team, it's a double for Niski's. Fnatic Academy collapse once again. Overall great play from Fnatic. Yes, they did. Um, and that's one of the advantages of being in Challenger. You do get what is effectively a taste of playing at the top level. Now Niski gets called up. There he does. Nethergrass takes him out. Sebex gets the kill. And now perhaps King Green will look to capitalize. They're going to push down mid and see if they can get this turret. It's about half HP at the moment. A little bit over aggressive Kikis, especially. However, he is on this Norseless, so it doesn't really matter if he tries to tank up the whole team because he can. D Lord caught out with a deadly flourish. TP in. D Lord's dead. Niski takes him down. Amazing, however, oversteps. Up by Klein, the TP cancelled there by Ice Beast. Shockwave lands though, as does the Depth Charge. Unleash power, everything used onto Sebex will take him out. Will like force back behind his tower. Great flank from Amazing, but it ends up going horribly wrong when Woolite's positioning was fantastic. So much free damage down, but now it looks like the Fnatic are continuing T to die. Tabasco dived underneath the turret. Woolite eaten up as well behind the second tier turret. It's a double for Niski, and as soon as I say he hasn't really shown up, he goes six and one. Like at the moment, King would have nothing. Fnatic have just set up in a bush. And here comes the hook onto Ice Beast. So Deadly Flourish down on him as well. He tries to get away. Death Charge onto Sebex. The curtain call opens up. And Sebex is isolated. Flash away from the shockwave by Niski. Will I stare? It's a double for the Jin. Mr. Rollo's coming up big. And now Tabasco's going to get chased out as well. The hook onto D Lord. He's dead. Niski's unstoppable. Fnatic are dominant. Fnatic went fishing and they. Fnatic have to stop the Baron because of the risk of the steal. Ice Beast though is exhausted. Kick is tanking up Baron once again. Tabasco is looking for it. The arrow onto Niski! Shut down from downtown. The Baron is still on the cards. Rales almost goes down to the end of the line, but it's the end of the line for Ice Beast though. He's chummed up and he's taken down by Fnatic. But here comes Sebex. He still has. No, he doesn't. Doesn't have Flash. Doesn't have ult. Oh. He, he did have ult. Him up. The curtain call comes down as Kingwin retreats back. Behind their tower once again. I speed so the front line. All of Kingwin lining up behind him. It's a Macarena here, guys. In the top lane. Hook once again. Kick is there. Three man shot. Niski so low. Clyde dead. Niski just about survives. Rale's exhausted and Tabasco's gonna chase in. But look at the knockback and look at the kills and look at the moves. Fnatic take down two. Kingwin lose out the fight. And they once again have to back away underneath this tower. This is the shockwave that you have to respect if you are Fnatic Academy. But now they're going to continue with the aggression. Amazing jumps in underneath Toei. I'd be so still alive. Unleashed power takes him down. 2v4. Kingwin, will they continue to defend? They're so low on mana. And for now, this ends the fight. Too much. Tabasco knocked up. Niski's down low. Tabasco trying to fight against Ruales. Kickers is in the front line. Amazing caught up with the Nethergrass. But Kly and Kickers are just doing so much work. The shockwave does nothing. Fnatic walk away with a kill. It's all about the tanks for Fnatic Academy. They're trying to keep them away from the Baron, but Fnatic are just going for the engage. Aspiso knocked up, amazing jumps in. He is exhausted straight away. Aspiso looking for him, can't quite get there. Still has the GA if King want to continue the fray. They will let Ice Beasto be the sacrifice for them. However, Fnatic, you have to think, just turn straight towards the Baron once again. They still got Kickets on full HP somehow. Now look for it. Tabasco can go for the steal. Cly there, taken low. Has the thick skin, of course. That grey health. Kill him up. And Fnatic might decide against this because Tabasco is just across the wall. The possibility of a steal is ever real. But Cly will force him away. Stunned up. Baron goes down. Fnatic get it. Just no response. Actually, Ice Beast, though, used TP and then cancelled it straight away there. So once again, he's not going to be able to join this fight quickly. And Ice nice Beast is going to be the front line for this. Has only level 15 and he's knocked up. Kick is in the back. 
four members of Kingwin surround him, but they just cannot dent the armor. The Shockwave tried to do something, but it's not enough. Kingwin are losing three members down, forced back behind their Nexus Towers, and Kickis jumps in once again. He survives through all of it, doesn't even have his G8 down. Fnatic are looking for the win. Fnatic Academy with a very clean dive. Kickis is way too strong for the tower to even deal with, that there is nothing that Kingwing can do can, to stop this siege. Fnatic likely gonna take game one of this series. Sebex gets destroyed. Tabasco forced back to base once again. Fnatic turn their eyes to the Nexus and turn their eyes to the playoffs. They win 1-0 versus Kingwing. So not as fast or not as clean as Fnatic perhaps would have because amazing Lee Sin, who's always been known for being a relatively good like European Lee Sin. Tabasco we haven't seen on Nidalee yet, but is very aggressive in her playstyle and can do a lot of work in the early game. So I think. Ooh, that's amazing though. It looks like he's going for a game. Waiting for the stun. Nice. Just a kill. So Clean. easy, and that's bad. Like in all honesty, that's a misstep from most beast though. I don't think it was. Uh, I think that that was just a very good gank from Amazing. Now it's oh. Tabasco. Kick is amazing is there. Kick is flashes away, flash in by Tabasco, looking for the kill. One more auto. Oh, he also the minion. a minion! And Tabasco gets chased away by Amazing. Flash in. Disaster for Tabasco. He wants the lane. Well, like, going in. D Lord and Tabasco get onto Cly as well. And Cly, of course, no flash. Might get caught out. Deadly Flourish lands. Cly is low. D Lord uses the thick skin. Tabasco gets the kill. And now Kingwin have four members. This is how you force a fight, Thedius. So trading into Kickers once again. Uses the Kill the Meek on a lot. Kickers is going to try and get the damage down. Death Charge knocks the Benecton up. He's trying to get away from those minions. But Ice Beast still gets the Ruthless Predator down. Goes for the kill. Dredge Line is not enough to get Kickers out. Ice Beast still with the chase. Can't quite land it, but gets the autos in the end. And that is the power of Benecton. Amazing will jump away from Kingwin here. Dodging Sebex. Does have flash, does have heals, does have Tabasco, but Amazing tries to stop it. The Shockwave knocks him back. Sebex heals, eaten up by D-Lord. Amazing caught out as well, and now Woolite's looking for the kill. Four members of Kingwing collapse on Amazing. They're looking for the tower still, and they will just about get it. Fnatic get the turret, they lose a man. It looks like Tabasco's going to join the fray as well. Flash away. As Bisto did go for the start of a dive and then realizes perhaps he doesn't want it. He's going to continue in, though. Here comes the damage. Tabasco gets the kill. Amazing now there, but Tabasco can jump around quite a lot. Dodges out the Sonic Wave. Cool. Kingwin with only three members at the moment. Tabasco there. As Bisto TP's in, he's in the midst of five members. One shot down. Tabasco's on a killing spree. He's looking for more. Chasing into Niski and Fnatic Academy. Can't quite get there in time. Great play by King. Still looking for that mid lane tower. Can't quite get it. But look at Clyde, he is very low. Well, like, he's going for the snipe. Deadly flourish, deadly Clyde. That will be overall two kills going in favor of King when they don't get themselves the mid tier one. This now, you can see Delord setting up. He's looking to bring Renekton. Here comes the Kernan call and Abyssal Voyage into the back line. Rallis tries to flash away, Renekton gets the stun. Ruthless Predator and a ruthless kill as Mr. Rallis goes down to Woolite. Clyde chased off towards the side. King with don't have Bisto, needs the TP in. There's a ward, there's the TP. Spear lands on Kly, he's low, redemption used, Tabasco looking for the steal, he jumps in, can he get it, Kingwin don't, Fnatic do, Kingwin now going for the fight, amazing chase up towards the side, he survived somehow, Tabasco's gonna jump the pit, doesn't land it, amazing's dead, Rales doesn't quite get caught up with the deadly flourish, Ice Beast though wants to continue this fight, but he's facing up four members of Fnatic, Woolite finally joins the fray, no deadly flourish, no curtain call, no ability for Kingwin to collapse, but Fnatic up the redemption comes out. Dealer with the thick skin trying to keep himself alive, but Ice Beast goes low and Kickers is still that front line. Now, Woolite and the rest of the crew trying to get in. The shockwave only lands onto Kickers. Dealer's dead. Rale's low though off towards the back line. Fnatic continue their engage onto King with Ice Beast. jumps onto Niski. Tabasco gets He's in. Gone. There's the kill. Niski's gone. One for one trade. At the moment, it's support for mid laner. And now Rale's is on the wrong side of the fight. Zebet's going to re engage. Ice Beast though slices and dices across the wall. Once again, the spear does not connect. Fnatic continue to push mid. They've got no Baron, but that tower has a minion wave in front of it. Tabasco still continues in. Kick is onto Sebex. Amazing there as well. They're going to try and take down the Oriana, but they don't realize that Ice Beastos on their back line. Tabasco gets taken out. Woolite hooked in as well. He will trade into Kick One more auto is all he needs, but the Titan Manta. still get melted by Fnatic. They've got the Twin Fangs going down, and it's almost dead by the time they get there. It's just gone. Doesn't get answered at all, and now that's a two-minute timer that Fnatic just uh, have total dominance on the map. Kingwin cannot do anything, really. They've gone. 
Like, King would have given this up. No one's around it. They just pushed out the waves. Fnatic had vision control for a while. In that river, they were pushing further. Enemy base. There is no mana on a lot of the members of Team Kickman and Fnatic going to the tower. But the Ice Beast is going to try and stop Kickers, but he's taken low. Slicing and dicing and working his way around. d Law hooked in. He's dead. Kickers gets onto Sebex as well. He still has GA. Kick onto Tabasco. Knocks him back. He's dead. Three, two members of Kingwin have gone down. Ice Beast still trying to do what he can, but it's just not enough. And Kingwin are going to fall to Fnatic. They get a triple on Niski. They get four kills for none. Fnatic are going to the playoffs. Fnatic do not give up. Up. They know they have the numbers advantage. They know they have the ultimate advantage. And with the super minions, they're gonna close out this game. After a hard fight from Kingwin, Fnatic will go 2-0 and get themselves that spot in the playoffs. Ooh, what a game. Whew. Mad props to Fnatic. They made some fantastic decisions. To